Alrighty, hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Slackers in the Cover video. I am your robot fighting host for today, Mad Dog. I'm bringing you some more battle tech. Don't forget, guys, you need to you know, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. Take a bite of that like button, and please, please share the content. Help us expand the Slackers universe. Oh man, how's it going, guys? Look at that yawn came out of nowhere. Alright, let's get back to our com uh, campaign. Uh, cha Let's see. Yep, let's load that game. Awesome. Get back into it. I'm so excited to get some more mech fighting. Hopefully, uh, be a little bit more of an exciting episode for you guys. Alrighty. <sighs> How's everyone doing today? Me, I still have not caught up on my lack of sleep, so, yeah. Just tired. Preparing for combat. Let's do it. Command interface initiated. All right, so we got me slack on the cover. We got glitch. We got uh, behemoth <laughs> and Decker. I guess is how you say that. Decker. <laughs> Alright, so we are heading towards what? Some goals over here. Turret generator. Got it. So, yeah. Hmm. Typical approach would be that way. Well, let's go down this way. We could. Eh. Let's go this way. Let's see what roads available this way. Anything? At least we could like go single file behind this and then like last minute come out and attack it. That should work. Nice. All right. My turn. Well, we can go down this way. And then come up through there. I think that would be a good idea, huh? On my way. Roger that. Uh-oh. Trespassing on Majesty Metals and Manufacturing Property and acting in collusion with a domestic terrorist organization. Cease your <laughs> advance immediately, or you will be fired upon. Well, considering that the uh, turrets can't get to us. Alright. 
Well, he's gonna be up on that road. Hmm. Wonder if we should go back up that way. Nah. Waiting for orders. We we can't do a sensor on him, huh? Let's force him to go way over here, huh? Got it. Go get this stage nice and open. Make him have to come down here to us. Uh, brace. Time to earn our money. Yep, here they come. Ready for orders. Can't attack yet, so just brace yourself. Commander. Alright, how far can you go? Affirmative. Oh. Still got cover. Nice. And last but not least, you. Oh, I forgot to brace her. Waiting on you, Commander. Let's get you there. All right. Can't attack anybody yet till they get into views, so. I've been sensor locked. Bunch of ones. <laughs> well, they didn't do very good at hitting you, huh? Yeah, only 20 damage. That's not bad. Vigilance gain. What's vigilance? Gain guarded and entrenched and remove all stable damage. Your next initiative is increased by one to a maximum of five. Huh. Can we attack anybody yet? No? Okay. Alright, let's go ahead and brace right there. Finally, somebody. Ugh. Horrible line of sight. take myself out of the cover hope oh, or maybe I will still be nice sweet all weapons committed nice exposed his structure hey eh? what can I do for you Alright. 
she should be able to hit him from here. Nice. Yeah, very little chances, but. Got a few hits in. Yes, Commander. Copy that. To the moonwalk. No? Okay. Let's go ahead and try to finish this guy off. Some allied turn. Is there an allied? I've been sensor locked. They've got a lock on me. Ooh, that one hurt. That one hurt. That one didn't hurt as much. Commander. Gonna get you back over there so you can get back into cover. Let's see. Finally getting close enough. Oh, they're gonna go after my fast guy. Woo! They gotta say sprinted. Can't touch this. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Can't touch this. Do do do. do. <laughs> Jeez. My hit percentage is still bad. Where to move? Where could I move? And increase my odds. Good. All weapons committed. Darn. His evasion's like right there. Orders. I hear ya. She has a better chance of hitting him. Nice. We do a precision strike. Ah. And him. Right there, fire. Here we go. Well, that definitely hurt him. What's up, Doc? Eh, what's up, Doc? <laughs> Go finish him. I think I hit nice. something good. <laughs> She thinks she hit something good. Ooh. At least sensors were impaired that time. Oh no, don't hit me too hard. Or we're about too young to get hurt. He's just a young wee little lad. Ready for orders.
Four percent. Why is it so low? Screw it. Roger that. Point blank. How could I miss that? There we go. One less target. There we go. Right. Good to go. Only 20%. Uh, can we jump up there? We could jump to there. Yep, Here we go. let's do that. Brace yourself. Good to go. Target, yeah, let's just jump back up here. Got it. Should have just took the high road. I know why I didn't. here nice and brace him that didn't hit too bad nice try <laughs> That one was too bad either. Minor damage, Commander. Nothing to see here. That's good. Good to know. Receiving you. Can't sensor lock, huh? All right. So let's just move there. Roger. Probably not a good idea to engage him, but whatever. It'll only let me brace, really? Oh goodness! Must have been his turn. Ay ay ay. That's not good. Armor breach. Internal damage. Yeah, I definitely will get you out of there as soon as I can. Standing by. It's the only thing you can hit him with. Waiting for orders. Uh, should I jump over there? Maybe I sh maybe I should go over there. Jump. It's right there. Then I can. Then I can attack him. All right. No. Oh my goodness. All right. I hear ya. Screw it. Just fire. I would have just fired if I knew Waiting that. I need to remember that for next time. That you can't. Uh, can't uh, attack after you use your jump jets. Does they increase the odds? Not really. Target acquired. They've got a sensor lock on me. They've got a lock on me. Oh, please don't destroy him. Ooh. Oh, God, I attack him again. I don't know how that arm didn't break, but I'm grateful. 
Good to go. Alright, let's go that way. Let you deal with him. Oh my goodness. Two more turrets, huh? percent chance of hitting. Nice. Nice. Yeah, take me on, little guy. Warning. Detecting. Oh my goodness. I, I hit my head, really. Alright. You're gonna make up for that. And that little guy just beat on you. Are you serious? It won't let me attack him? Can I please do something? I would like to attack him! Fine. Whatever. We're gonna do Vigilance. Oh my goodness. I am... Not Good sure why I can attack him, but okay. All right, let's just finish this guy off. Special delivery. Receiving you. Come on, damage him. Please, can I attack him next round? Like, seriously? Miss, miss, miss. Sorry, can't touch this. Do, 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 do. Ooh, okay, we're good. Thank you, trees. Oh no. Don't get the arm. Okay, we're good still. I'm taking internal damage. Yeah, I noticed. Can I please? Oh my goodness. Ready for orders. Guess if I move there. There we go. Quickly strike at the. Right there. Target acquired. Reporting negative damage. Negative damage. I'm getting tired of this guy beating up on me. Can I please attack him? Alright, can you please attack this guy? me I can't attack him now. Thank you. All weapons committed. There we go. Get out of here. Alright. We need to quickly get over there to assist. Unless she can hit this from here. Uh attack that. capable of hitting that from there. You are. Nice. Let's 
Locking on. Come on. Finish it. No joy. Oh, bunny, don't get hurt. Yeah, you're you're probably gonna die. Probably should have gotten you out of there. That shot got past my armor. Yeah, I noticed. Let's hope these missiles don't destroy you. Ooh, I don't know how internal structure damage. You're still standing, but yeah. Oh my goodness, one more. Ooh, the leg finally got hurt. Internal structure damage. Okay. Well, yes, Commander. Screw it. Precision strike on that. Firing. Can we get it? Yes. Target destroyed. Nice. Alright, so destroy. Wait, destroy the tower. Where's that? Okay. So when you start heading that way. Okay. Yep, sprint that way. That sounds good. And let's get your sprint on. What do we need to do? Jump jet, jump jets. Lifting off. On it. Let's have you scout it out. Let us know what's going on. Anybody over here? No? Maybe contact. Ah. Okay. Uh. Standing by. You can't do a sensor lock, huh? Time you confirmed. back up. <laughs> so we get our buddies over there to protect you. All right, let's go ahead and be vigilant. No, I'm probably doing this stuff wrong. <laughs> oh man! Now we're starting to get to what I like to do. Eh, let's just do move. Got plenty of time. <clears throat> now the other two. Are they coming for this? might want to move them down this way yeah they're not gonna come up that way so let's go ahead and get them to uh, just sprint how far can you go that way nice Down that way, just as I thought. Okay. Yes, Commander. If I do sprint. Let's get you to right there. No. 
standing by. Roger. All right. Brace yourself. You have them go down the hill. And then, uh, yeah. Got it. Have him go with them. Better at taking out light targets anyway. And then you can brace yourself. That mech gonna come up the hill finally? Yep. Alright. Like do you sprint, how far can I get? As far as jump jet get me. Ooh. Actually, like that. It's gonna give me a good angle. And we can go right here to ambush this guy when he comes around the corner. I just don't know if I'm gonna catch these guys before they come down. Waiting on you, Commander. Oh yeah. Okay, we'll be good. Got it. Max speed, no shooting. <laughs> All right. Waiting for orders. We're gonna get you to sprint over here as well, lady. Why do you there? Confirmed. Get you into position. That works. All right. Let's just get there so we can have them uh, visible to us. Get them in range. There we go. No? Still can't. Okay. That's fine. Nice. All right, brace ourselves. Yes, get closer, tanks. Nice. She what should can I be do able. For Say hello to my big friends. Fire the lasers. Time to die. <laughs> she wasn't kidding when she said that. <laughs> you like that? I don't think he did. No. I think, I think he uh, would have preferred to not have his nets rusted, but yeah. It's just my personal opinion. <laughs> shot between my legs. Ready for orders. Heading out. Alrighty. Time to kill another small fry. Sorry. On it.
There ain't much left of you. Recording vehicle destroyed. Nice. Hmm. Let's reserve him. Oh no. Oh, he's attacking down there. Okay. That's fine. Whoa! Easy on the armor, buddy! <laughs> Alright. Commander. Roger that. Go ahead and pull him out, then we can just have him on load on him. How's it going? Precision strike. Bam. Now I'll join you. I'll go ahead and off unload on him as well. Do a precision strike on him. Nine percent. That's fine. All weapons committed. <laughs> there we go. Good to go. Oh, nice. Yeah, you already have a good uh, hit percentage from there. Precision strike. Ooh. Let's see. Here we go. <laughs> He's not having a good day. Ooh, nice. We've injured the pilot. What's up, Doc? Did she say what's up, Doc? This one she said what's up, Doc. On my way. Alright. Go ahead and hopefully finish you. Please don't destroy my little guy. Oh, nice! You get to go one more time. Receiving you. Copy that. Finish him, man, or hit, destroy his leg. Uh, oh, I guess because maybe he's injured, he can't uh, can't fly back. All weapons committed. Nice. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. <laughs> All right, commander? let's finish the job, ladies. Finish the job. Right, commander. <laughs> there goes his other arm and his leg. Hit. And the pilot's damaged. <laughs> Commander. Confirmed. we not attack him? Okay. Well then. Let's just move. Alright. Let's move there. Coordinates received. Moving out. Alright. Get them all into position. I guess we can't do anything with that pilot till he wakes up. Ready for orders. On my way. There we go. Should be able to attack it from here. Oh wait. That's what I'm attacking?
There we go. Fire the laser. Target confirmed. Flatten that one. <sighs> Great job, Commander. Double back to our client's platform. The sooner we can collect our pay and break orbit, the better. Right. <laughs> Waiting for orders. Good to go. On the move. Or I should jump down. Yeah. Engaging jump jets. All right. Uh, should we jump down to you? Yeah. Lifting off. There we go. Looking good. Alrighty. <laughs> nice. Alright, brilliant work, Commander. We should have no trouble mopping up at the other platforms now that their defenses are down. We get the job done. Speaking of which, I wasn't finished. These platforms won't do us good if we can't hold them. Energy Mills taught us that, so we're going to need your mechs. Going to want you're going to want to reconsider that. Uh oh. <laughs> Why? Your lance has already been targeted or target locked by our turrets. Now power down and surrender and we'll let you walk. Or try to fight and we'll tear you to shreds. Here we go. <laughs> Well, here goes our <laughs> payday. Hold tight, Commander. We're on our way. Alright. Actually, yeah, I take yes, that back. Commander. Let's get him over there. <coughs> and then the rest of these guys should be able to target them once. So let's make sure there's no other enemies coming. Oh! There's one coming that way. Any others coming? Just the one. Oh, wait, there's one this way. Okay. Actually, let me have. Yeah. Let me. Receiving you. Okay. We'll have her go. There. So you can't destroy that tank at close range like that. Trashed. Nice. Running away? Okay. See how it is. Good to go. Can we attack these two? Uh, 
let's move first. Waiting for orders. Destroy hostile forces. So we just need to attack this thing, right? Okay, what's going on here? I feel like I'm doing something wrong. There we go. I don't know why she can't attack it, but okay. Engaging target. Target building destroyed. Nice. Take care of that. And let's have you destroy him. Affirmative. <laughs> now she can go around the corner and destroy the other one. Alright. Get that final one out of the way. Sorry, buddy. Firing you should pump. not have challenged us. Ooh. First time we didn't destroy one on the uh, first strike. Good to go. Affirmative. I wonder if I could hit him from there. There we go. 70% chance. Are go. Nice. Alright. Destroyed 100% of hostiles. Reporting. Vehicle destroyed. Stand by for extraction commander. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh, and Darius. I know, Mary. I know. You want another team meeting? <laughs> Give the man a prize. <laughs> Mission successful. Alrighty. Nice. In mag. Or, oh. Hey, buddy. <laughs> well, though, Commander, you made the best of a bad situation. Here's hoping we don't run into another job like that. Capture employees, mining platforms, engage and destroy the enemies, survive. Morale's up. Sorry, or bonus, Tim rated. Nice. Payday, we didn't get a payday. Darn. I'm really hoping that we. I got a kill. She got three. She got one. He got three. <laughs> oh man. Two people are the all stars of my team. But he is severely damaged. That light one does some. He moves pretty quick and he does some damage. <sighs> See where the next mission takes us. What I might start doing, guys, uh, is I'll do like more than one mission and just have it skip ahead to like the exciting parts. You need to start finding us better clients, Darius. I mean it. We've been slamming it on the ass end of the frontier for three years now, and we are drowning in debt. I'm fully aware of our financial situation, but I can't just conjure up new clients out of the air. Mad Dog, do we? Do me a solid and back me up on this. This is why you all made me your commander, so I could break up fights and review financial reports. Uh, if we really had, if we're really that hard up for cash, we need to stop talking and doing something about it. 
Oh, thanks, Darius. I don't take your mana. Hmm. Let's do this. Yeah. Hey. You'll hear no arguments from me when you... When we made you our commander, we all agreed to follow you. Uh, Darius, could you walk us through the details of this trouble we're in? It might help if we broke down... Broke things down point by point. Sure thing. Yang point one. Right, we're in debt. Every C bill we make technically belongs to the banks. <laughs> point two. This corner of the... Uh, Frontier is a dead zone for mercenary work. There are clients, but they're terrible. That's just a fact. And that's it. There's no other points. <laughs> What's our best case scenario? How many jobs will it take to repay our loans? Why not just refuse to pay? We can afford to... Meh. Okay, we're in a bad spot. What are we going to do about it? Yeah, let's see what the best case scenario is. Truthfully, I can't even say... We're in a pretty deep hole from where we're sitting where I'm standing, I don't see a whole lot of daylight. <laughs> uh, the thing is, these banks, and I use that word loosely, they don't want us to pay off our loans. They'll do whatever they can to get a way to keep us on the hook, hit us with fees, jack up our interest rates, misfile our paperwork. I'm trying to find us a way out of this, but it's gonna take time. Oh, goodness. Yep. Money is agreed and every day that passes we accumulate more debt if we keep up like this we we have been we're screwed uh what's our best case scenario let me do, okay i already did that that's just okay it's gonna make me go through all of them huh that wouldn't be a very good idea my dog the banks uh when it come for us themselves they'd hire mercenaries and you already know how, how hard the frontier mechs are for work. If we stiff the banks, we'll wind up de <laughs> dead in the debtor's prison. And out in the frontier, those are basically the same thing. Okay, so what are we going to do about it? Let's see what else we can do, Mad Dog. I'm already serving up legitimate contract I can find. Unless you want me to sidestep uh, the mercenary review board entirely, we're basically out of options. Just got betrayed on a certified boarding. How much worse could it get? <laughs> We're already taking a lot of risk here. I don't want to compound them unless we absolutely have to. It doesn't sound like such a bad idea to me. No guts, no galaxy, right? Hmm. <laughs> oh, go around. And, uh, oh, thanks. Take an answer. Let's just do that. Plenty. What happened down there was an exception, boss. With uncertified jobs, it's the rule. Remind me again why we don't just skip town and head to the nicer corner of the... Because the banks and the jump ship crews have an arrangement. Until we pay up, they're going to keep us on a short leash. Got it. That's, that's, that's awesome. We're pretty much stuck here. <laughs> Uh, that's a good reason. Uh, let's see. You need to start earning some real money. <sighs> Sorry, guys. And we do... Uh, and we need to do it soon. It's only a matter of time before something breaks down and I can't fix... <laughs> fix with duct tape and good intentions. Original loner. If I were afraid of taking risk, I would have... Would have left the gilded cage of my parents called at home. We're gonna have to be just as bold. Okay, I'd rather go down fighting than when broke up. Yeah, let's just go ahead and do that. Here it is. The voice of experience speaks. Going around might kill us, sure. So might a thousand other things. We're mercenaries. Taking risks is our business. We need to get we need to get paid. Well, it's settled then. I'm uh, starting digging for contracts outside of the system. Who knows? Maybe it'll work out for the best. Alright. 
Meantime, we need to find another paying job. Our prospects in the system have completely dried up. I'd recommend booking travel to a neighborhood system, seeing what the review board has for us. With any luck, we'll find enough work to keep keep going until something better rolls in. Okay. Thanks for holding our jump ship access hostage until we repair our debts. For now, we can only go between your cream, your cream, or uh, it's almost like cuisine to me, but I like, I guess I'm hungry or something. <laughs> and nearby systems of alleyway. My goodness, all these names. I, I just, I just can't. I just can't pronounce them. Sorry. Detroit. That's the last one I can pronounce. <laughs> Our top priority right now needs to be finding work so we can raise money. Uh, let's see. Then the contracts we have are very good. I picked out the only visible one I can find. Hopefully it includes travel fees. It's part of the deal. Okay. I'll have to review it. Nice. Nice. Timeline paused. Okay. That's our ship. Hiring hall, store. Oh, let me go to the store. Let's check the mechs. Okay, equipment. Heat sink. Practically expels thermal energy generated from firing weapons and other sources preventing damage from excessive heat built up. Effectiveness can be impacted by surrounding environment positively or negatively. Okay. Weapons. Okay. Ballistic weapons. Show energy weapons. Ballistic weapons. Show support weapons. Ammo bins contain the rounds needed for projectile based weaponry with at least one bin required per weapon. Ammo bins will explode and destroy their installed location when they receive a critical hit. Machine gun bins also contain 200 rounds and may feed multiple weapons. That's cool. Alrighty. Well, let's back out of that. Let's go to the hiring hall. Okay, so we can hire a new recruit. Uh, da, da, da. We have 980,000 funds. Nice. Are we sure we don't have... We can't buy another mech? That's what I have right now, right? You can't. You won't let me buy anything else. Hey, Commander. We'll be with you in a sec. Okay. All right. What's wrong with this one? Oh yeah. Uh, we need to repair it. The rest of us didn't really receive any bad damage, so... Requires upgrade, okay. Storage. Can we buy another mech? Erks. Do your currently employed mech warriors for information about their skills, uh, abilities, service records, status, or statistics, sorry. Uh, you may also dismiss mech warriors to terminate their employment. Hmm. Uh, do we have experience to spend too? We'll 
multi target. What's this one? Breaching shot. Sensor lock. There we go. I'd rather be able to get the sensor lock. There we go. Um, firm. Mech warrior training complete. <laughs> nice. Mr. Technician. Ace pilot. I move after shooting if it has not moved yet. Wait, a mech piloted by a mech warrior can move after shooting if it has not moved yet. Oh, okay, so you can shoot and then move. Gotcha. So we want to get piloting up too. That sounds really good. Sure footing. Another passive one. Okay. Uh, let's spend some, some points on her, huh? Let's see. Precision start. No. Mm. And yeah, let's confirm that. Training complete. Alright. Good to go. You got quite a bit, don't you? Sure footing. Definitely need sensor lock on you. Firm. Because you're the scout. We need to be able to get you. What can I do for you? Attack right away. Uh, probably can afford on you, huh? <laughs> Mech warrior training complete. Receiving you. Let's see. Ah, uh, I really wish I could afford to get that. Let's see. Hmm. There we go. Let's go ahead and do that. Training complete. Alrighty. Available contracts, review all the. Alright, let's go ahead and click on it. Uh, maintenance base. Okay. We operate a repair maintenance facility on. Okay. The base is critical to our operations. We suspect that forces are going to assault the facility. We'd like your garrison to garrison the base. If you if an attack comes, hold off the assault. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that one. Let's uh, negotiate. Ooh, okay. Uh, hmm. I think Yes, yeah, do that. Need more money. You'll be able to buy better mechs and stuff. Roger that, Commander. Course plotted. Nice. Alrighty. <laughs> I wrapped up that job you asked for, Commander. Who's ready for the next job? Nice. Uh, da, 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 da. Mech Bay. Need something? Uh, let's see. To Mech Bay, my own little piece of heaven. Right here on the ship, something I help you with. Yeah, I got a few questions about the mech bay. Uh, okay. Du, 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 du. Yeah, tutorial. 
Beyond each, okay. Hugo holding one mech. Battle mech. Uh, not much. All it's about. It's all about capacity. The more mech base we have, the more mechs we can keep battle ready. And the more mechs we have battle ready, the more flexible you have, or flexibility you have in your deployment options. Gotcha. It's my mech storage. Uh, first, we have limited capacity in the mech base, so we need to store the overstock for eventual sale or use in the future. Second, we don't pay upkeep costs on mechs and storage. That's a business thing. Not my department. Third is the most important. Whatever we pick up partial mech salvage from the battlefield, I put it in storage tree. Nice. Thank you. I appreciate that. By the way, nice robot army you got there. What happens when a mech goes in? into or gets uh raided from storage is that like raided from storage is what they meant um you send a mech chassis into storage our mech techs dismount all its weapons and equipment and place them in your inventory for use on other chassis a chassis can stay in storage indefinitely. Don't worry about storage capacity, boss. I'll make it fit. Don't worry. <laughs> I'll ask you something else. Uh, I've been wondering about the components you can put on our max. There we go. That would be something good to learn about. One of my favorite topics in the mech bay is you can browse all the equipment we have available in the inventory. There are two types of components I can install on battle mechs. Weapons and equipment. Let me have a ballistic weapons. Ballistic weapons such as the auto can pack a good punch, generate little heat, and can destabilize an enemy if they hit it enough. But ballistic weapons are, you know, ballistic, so they require ammo, and ammo can explode if it takes a hit in combat. Which is bad news all around. Ballistic weapons also are pretty heavy and can take up a lot of space on a mech. Strengths and weaknesses, boss strengths and weaknesses. <laughs> about energy weapons? Energy weapons don't use any ammo but generate a lot of heat. You may need to invest in additional heat sinks. Keep your mech cool if you choose an energy heavy loadout. Got it. Missile weapons. Those weapons are my favorite. Yeah, they require ammo and generate moderate heat, but the pounding they deliver can destabilize an enemy faster than most other weapons. And having multiple projectiles in a single shot means you've almost always guaranteed at least a single hit. Yeah, that's true. Long range missile attacks are also capable of indirect fire. Uh, if your unit has line of sight on an enemy. You can act as a spotter for the LRM equipped units that don't. With the spotter, a mech equipped with the LRM can stay behind cover and arc its missiles to hit the enemy. The spotter can increase your launcher's effective range too. Guaranteed the enemy can do the same to you, but that's someone else's problem. <laughs> All right, and support weapons. So support weapons are light, are lighter than the others, small lasers, machine guns, that kind of thing. I programmed out targeting computers to automatically fire them after a melee attack if they're activated. Nice. Oh, there's more. Whew. Sorry guys, I'm really tired. After this tutorial thing, I think I'm gonna call it, but um, tell me about the other types of equipment you can uh, refit on a mech. It's a big list boss, I just, you check the store and area system we travel to, so you never know what you're gonna find. I can install stronger cockpits to reduce the injuries to our mech warriors. We'll take arm actuators, they increase melee damage. Range finders, they increase the range at which enemies can be visually acquired, all sorts of stuff. All take up critical slots on a battle mech. 
Some add weight too, keep your eyes open for them and keep them a good once over before you buy. So you know what you're getting into. Gotcha. Now putting powerful weapons and equipment on your mech is fine and all, but remember the trade-off is always armor. You know they say the best defense is a strong offense. <laughs> Alright. Alright, some manufacturers have developed better versions of some weapons. True that, different manufacturers tweak their weapons to deliver more damage, then higher accuracy, you stabilize the enemy, a bunch of stuff. Okay. The trick is finding them. They're out there in the yeah. So when I see you in a store or salvage pile, I always mark it with a plus for you if you so you can identify it easily oh okay so if it's a plus it'll uh, be better gotcha I think I understood it like that ask you something else the repair mech damage after a battle okay I just learned how to do that money so so, la la la. Alright. What if I want to change a mech's loadout? Can I refit it with new weapons and equipment? Oh, you're talking. Now you're talking, boss. You can uh, refit a mech, you can repair it at the same time, too. Just select a battle mech and order the refit. That'll bring it to the mech lab. What can I do in the mech lab? My goodness, there's a lot of stuff. Mech Lab is where you let uh, know what sorts of modifications you want to make on our stable of mech battle mechs. You can install new weapons, equipment, add or remove armor location by location. Do what you think you want. <laughs> well, it takes us time and money, and we got plenty of both, right? All right, let me see how I can refit a mech. It's hardware, uh, of course there are limits. Your biggest uh, constraints are chassis weight and hard points. Negative, a mech's chassis can support only so much uh, tonnage and weapons, armor, equipment, so you need its overall weight in mind when designing a battle mech loadout. If your desi design is over a chassis weight, rating we can't accept the order the work order now we are there are ways of making things fit of course what's a hard point again okay uh, each location on the battle mech uh, contains one or more weapon mounts called hard points hard points are only designed for one specific weapon type ballistic energy missile and support. However, most mechs contain locations with more than one hard point, so you so you have some flexibility in what you mount there. All right, let's go back and remember to start off to the gills. Uh, what do you know? Do I, okay. How do I know what a mech is good at in the first place? Okay, that's a good question. Great question. <laughs> I predicted that. That's great. There are a lot of different uh, battle mechs out there. It's hard to know what they built were built to do best just by looking at them. I mean, I, I can, of course, but I, but I'm me. You, on the other hand, you're gonna need some help. Thankfully, I'm a helpful guy. Thank you. Appreciate that. I'll check your ch your technical readouts in the mech lab. You'll find that I've included some thoughts about each mech off the rack purpose or stock roll. Definitely options mind they their only opinion oh okay they're only opinions oh, yeah not options opinions mind you but you might find them useful. What happens after I order a refit? Once you confirm the work, it will be placed in a queue with other repairs, refits on your timeline. Remember, a mech will be unavailable for combat until its work order is complete, so plan your refits carefully. I suggest queuing them up before we 
head to the next system to use our time travel effectively or efficiently. If you want to change the mech's placement in in the work queue, select management tasks under the timeline to reprioritize uh, repri pri or cancel work orders. Got it. How long do repairs and refits normally take? Depends on the mech conditions you're working in. A good uh, mech bay will, uh, with advanced uh, scaffolding and equipment is faster than the one found in a standard leopard. Okay. And let me ask you something else. You know, you seem to know your way around Battlefield Gang. Any advice? Sure, the better you lead in combat, the less work I have to do when it's over. <laughs> let's talk about heat. Alright, let's talk about heat. I can emphasize this enough. Watch your heat. Your mech, mech warriors are sitting on walking fusion reactors out there. Yeah. <laughs> Using jump jets, firing weapons, generates heat. Sometimes a lot of it. Okay. How can I affect the heat in combat? Go into water. This weapon system can be toggled on and off each time it takes action. Those walkers, their heat. Uh, uh, uh. Sorry, guys. By toggling off weapons and lowering chances to hit. But sometimes you'll have a solid chance to hit with everything in your arsenal. That's when you gotta experiment by toggling, or toggling a few off to make sure you stay below the red line. Gotcha! How can I make a mech more heat efficient? Uh, the heat things, right? Heat sinks, that's right. Mm -hmm. Heat sinks uh, vent plasma from the mech's engine and do a lot to dissipate the buildup from the jump jets. Uh, weapon fire. Heat, heat sinks are your friend. You got a friend in me. Let's go back for a minute. There's something I need to talk about. Let's talk about the max stability. Yeah, stability is a smart thing for the commander to understand, boss. Okay. Getting pummeled by weapon fire is a good way for a mech to become destabilized walking over rough terrain. Doesn't help much either. Tell me about how to make my battle mechs less vulnerable to a weapons fire. Okay. Hmm. Basically, cover embracing. Talking about evasion. Short form version is that further a unit goes, the more evasion it becomes. Shooting a moving target is hard, shooting at a faster target is harder. When you order the mech to move into combat, note the number of uh, angled chevrons uh, your command software assigns it. The more chevrons are displayed, the harder it'll hit the same enemy. Gotcha. Uh, cover mechs are a kind of a big thing, aren't they? Yeah. Kind of a big thing, dangerous. Okay. Standing behind buildings or hills is a good is good too. If enemies can't see you, they're gonna have a hard time hitting you. It's all about line of sight. Got it. Taught me to brace brace my mech, but it doesn't uh, make it hard to hit. Well yeah. Well bracing your mech is uh, won't make it harder to hit, but it sure uh, it should buffer some damage you'll take by half. So think about it. Alrighty. Let's go back. Let me ask you something else. That's enough for now. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. I uh, don't know. Okay, for the moment, but give it a few months, maybe a year. You know how it goes. Eventually, everything falls apart. Gotcha. A little bit more about yourself and how you wound up with the crew. That's a long story. Shortest version I can give you is I signed on after uh, served my term in the third succession 
war fighting for the Confederation. If you want to know more, you can ask uh, whatever you want. Otherwise, let's get back to talk talking shop. Where are you originally from? Sorry guys, I'm really tired so I'm not going to read all of this, I'm just skimming through it real quickly since it's a little bit of background about him. But feel free to pause the screen and read this if you want. Okay. Not your timeline, the minutes are you, would you start with? Okay. Transfer our duties, you mean, you mean, oh, I don't know, just for a change besides, yeah. There's questions aside, questions aside, questions, ah, we're never gonna finish. <laughs> yeah, but you're, okay, at the end of the day, that's, uh, nice. For what it's worth, I'm glad you made that choice. You brought my mech back from the Greek more than once, yep. And now we're just flattering him. Okay. Come on, I selected it. Alrighty, sir. I appreciate it. Okay, so I would click refit right there. Gotcha. Okay. Alrighty, guys. Well, I think we're going to leave that episode right there. So, thank you all for joining me. And, yeah, this is Mad Dog signing off. And we'll see you next time, Slack Underground. Okay.